Hello and welcome. Today we are talking about February 14th. While many enjoy Valentine's Day worldwide, in India it's a day to remember 40 soldiers who lost their lives. On February 14, 2019, India witnessed one of the deadliest terror attacks in its history. As a suicide bomber affiliated with Jaish-e-Mohammed targeted a convoy of Central Reserve Police Force personnel in Pulwama district. which is located in Jammu and Kashmir what is Jaish e Mohammed it is a Pakistani based Deobandi jihadist terrorist group active in Kashmir the group's primary motive is to separate Kashmir from India and merge it into Pakistan on that day pulwama attack took place around 3:15 pm ist a crpf convoy was traveling from jammu to srinagar on the jammu kashmir national highway consisting of 78 vehicles with approximately 2500 personnel near avantipora at lethipora a car filled with explosives crashed into one of the buses causing a massive explosion the driver adil ahmed Dar, a 20-year-old local associated with JEM since 2018, carried out the attack. The explosion devastated the bus, leaving it in ruins, and ignited several other vehicles. This horrific incident led to the loss of 40 CRPF personnel and severe injuries to many others. JEM claimed responsibility for the attack, sharing a video of Dar, who identified himself as Fidain, and threatened further assaults on India. The Pulwama attack on February 14, 2019 shook India to its core, resulting in widespread outrage and demands for justice. Prime Minister Narendra Modi vowed a strong response, granting security forces full freedom to act against the perpetrators. On February 26, 2019, India conducted Operation Bandar, targeting a JEM camp in Pakistan. Using Mirage 2000 fighter jets, Indian forces dropped Israeli-made smart bombs on the camp in Balakot. India claimed it was a preemptive strike to prevent future attacks and caused significant damage to the camp, but Pakistan disputed this, stating the bombs hit only trees with no casualties. The next day, February 27th, Pakistan retaliated by sending F-16 fighter jets into Indian airspace to target military installations in Jammu and Kashmir. Indian Air Force intercepted leading to a dog fight where an Indian MiG-21 Bison piloted by Wing Commander Abhinandan Vardhaman shot down a Pakistani F-16. Vardhaman ejected and landed in Pakistani territory where he was captured. Tensions escalated as India demanded his safe return. Pakistan released Vardhaman on March 1, 2019 at the Wagha border as a gesture of peace. He was honored with the Veer Chakra for his bravery. Since then, February 14 is observed as a Black Day to honor the sacrifices of the martyrs and to condemn terrorism.